गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर कृणाल खुबरागडे कन्सल्टंट इन सर्जिकल ऑन्कोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ॲट सर एच एन रिलायन्स फाउंडेशन हॉस्पिटल अँड रिसर्च सेंटर ऑल ऑफ अस आर अवेअर ऑफ कॉमन कॅन्सर्स लाईक ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर कोलॉन कॅन्सर हेड अँड नेक अँड ओरल कॅव्हिटी कॅन्सर्स बट वी आर नॉट व्हेरी वेल वर्स्ड विथ पॅनक्रिएटिक कॅन्सर इट इज अ सायलेंट अँड डेडली कॅन्सर थ्रू हेल्प ऑफ कॅन्सर एड अँड रिसर्च फाउंडेशन थ्रू दिस फेसबुक लाईव्ह I would be discussing about the pancreatic cancer today. So what exactly is pancreas? Pancreas is a digestive organ which is situated behind the stomach and in front of our spine. As we can see that it is surrounded by major blood vessels, small bowel and large bowel. Anatomically it is divided into three parts like head, neck, body and tail. and all its secretions are carried via pancreatic duct into the small bowel pancreas ke do major function hai exocrine and endocrine exocrine function wo hota hai jo humko digestion mein help karta hai food jo hum log ingest karte hai uske digestion mein help karta hai and endocrine functions wo hote hai jisme it secretes special hormones which are then released into the blood stream like insulin glucagon and other hormones through which blood sugar levels are controlled so exocrine pancreas jaise maine pehle bataya produces three types of enzymes amylase protease and lipase these enzymes help in digestion of our proteins fats uh, in our meal endocrine pancreas mein teen ya char type ke cell hote hain jo insulin glucagon somatostatin pancreatic polypeptide ye sab hormones secret karte hain jo hamare blood mein jaate hain and they help in regulating our blood sugar and many other things so what exactly is pancreatic cancer as we know that cancer starts when cell in the body start growing out of control or it is without any limitations so pancreas ke kisi cell mein jab ye uncontrolled growth hoti hai to we call it as pancreatic cancer according to the function of the pancreatic cancer two type ke pancreatic cancer ho sakte hain pancreatic adenocarcinoma which is from the exocrine pancreas and endocrine pancreas se jo tumors hote hain unko hum log bolte hain neuroendocrine tumor kuch famous personalities jinko pancreatic cancer hua tha steve jobs apple ke ceo he died because of pancreatic cancer our own defense minister mr manohar parikar also suffered a long battle with pancreatic cancer worldwide agar hum log incidence dekhe pancreatic cancer ka to it is not much it is one of the uh, low risk cancers ya uh, utna common nahi hai pancreatic cancers but compared to its incidence agar hum log mortality dekhe ki pancreatic cancer ki wajah se kitne logo mein cancer related mortality hai to it is seventh most common cause for cancer related mortality worldwide now it is also known as silent killer because it does not cause any symptoms in the early disease it is 11th most commonly and diagnosed cancer in men 9th most common cancer in women with a very relative 5 year survival of only 8% males mein zyada common hota hai cancer india mein dekhenge to kafi rare hai it stands in around 23rd or 24th rank in terms of its incidence बट अगर हम लोग मोर्टैलिटी देखेंगे तो इट इज अ थर्ड लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ कैंसर रिलेटेड डेथ्स एंड नाउ स्लोली बाय 2020 इट विल बिकम अ सेकंड लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ कैंसर रिलेटेड डेथ इफ नथिंग मेजर चेंजेस फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल मतलब कभी भी व्हेन पेशेंट्स गेट डायग्नोज्ड विद कैंसर वी टेल देम देयर ओवरऑल फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल व्हिच मींस एट द एंड ऑफ फाइव ईयर हाउ मेनी पीपल हाउ मेनी परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल डायग्नोज्ड विद पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर वुड बी अलाइव तो पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर टिल 2015 या अर्ली 2000 तक इट वाज ओनली 5 परसेंट इट मीनिंग इट मीन्स दैट ओनली फाइव आउट ऑफ 100 परसेंट डायग्नोज विद पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर वुड बी अलाइव एट द एंड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स स्लोली इट इज इंप्रूविंग बट स्टिल वी हैव नॉट येट रीच्ड टू डिजिट्स स्टिल ओवरऑल सर्वाइवल फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल एट द एंड ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन फॉर पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर वॉज ओनली नाइन परसेंट मीनिंग नाइन आउट ऑफ 100 patients survived till 5 years rest all of them succumb to pancreatic cancer within 5 years agar hum log stage wise survival dekhe pancreatic cancer ka 
so even in early stages maximum survival is only till 2 years while in late stages like stage 4 it is less than 5 months why what makes pancreatic cancer so deadly because pancreatic cancer is diagnosed at a late stage it does not cause symptoms in its early stage at all so we need to know what are the symptoms at early stages what are the risk factors hame aise kaun se risk factors hai jiske bare mein hame pata hona chahiye that we are at a higher risk of getting pancreatic cancer so we need to know who are at risk Commonly African American लोग हैं या इंडिया में साउथ इंडियन या नॉर्थ इंडियन अर्बन पॉपुलेशन है मेल पॉपुलेशन है हुआ और अबव फिफ्टी इन जनरल स्मोकर्स है या लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग डायबिटीज है या फैमिली हिस्ट्री है दीज आर ऑल कॉमन रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर सब रिस्क फैक्टर्स वी विल डिस्कस स्लोली इन डिटेल्स अगर हम लोग देखें तो फैमिली हिस्ट्री मतलब अगर किसी को फैमिली में पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर है तो द रिस्क इज अराउंड थर्टीन फोल्ड मतलब आपके फैमिली हिस्ट्री में इमीजिएट फैमिली में आपके फादर मदर या उनके इमीजिएट ब्रदर सिस्टर को है तो रिस्क इंक्रीजेस टू मोर देन टेन फोल्ड देन कॉम्प्लिकेशन लाइक डायबिटीज ओबेसिटी क्रोनिक पैंक्रेटाइटिस हेरिडेटरी पैंक्रेटाइटिस इन सब चीज़ों में पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर होने का रिस्क बढ़ता है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट स्मोकिंग इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिस्क फैक्टर एज इट सेल्फ अभी हम लोग जब रिस्क फैक्टर्स के बारे में बात करते हैं सो वी टॉक ऑफ टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिस्क फैक्टर्स वन विच कैन बी मॉडिफाइड द अदर विच कैन नॉट बी मॉडिफाइड मॉडिफाइबल रिस्क फैक्टर्स वो होते हैं जिसपे हमारा कुछ कंट्रोल हो सकता है जिसको हम लोग मॉडिफाई कर सकते हैं तो वो कंट्रोल करके हम लोग हमारी पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर का रिस्क कम कर सकते हैं एंड देर आर सर्टन नॉन मॉडिफाइबल रिस्क फैक्टर्स जो हमारे कंट्रोल में नहीं है which we cannot control. So one of the non-modifiable risk factors is age. जैसे जैसे हमारा age बढ़ता है it is an increasing risk factor for pancreatic cancer. Most pancreatic cancers are diagnosed in the sixth decade, मतलब 60s या 70s में In India, pancreatic cancer का risk एक decade early है मतलब those who are the uh, people who are those uh, in their 50s. the pancreatic cancer risk starts growing and peak is in the 6th decade around 64 65 so most patient in india are diagnosed in 5th and 6th decade of their life now smoking is a very important risk factor for pancreatic cancer almost uh, smoking se 30 times risk badh jata hai pancreatic cancer hone ka and around 1 in 4 pancreatic cancer cases can be linked to cigarette smoking so we should avoid smoking or quit smoking if you are a smoker because it can directly contribute to the development of a pancreatic cancer now how does smoking cause pancreatic cancer now most smokers are also alcoholics so smoking and alcoholic together cause alcoholism together causes chronic pancreatitis now chronic pancreatitis pancreatitis matlab hota hai infection of the pancreas क्रोनिक मतलब काफी लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग सो स्मोकिंग अल्कोहल दोनों रिलेटेड है क्रोनिक पेंक्राइटाइटिस से अल्कोहल मोर कॉमनली देन स्मोकिंग सो स्मोकिंग प्लस अल्कोहल आर अ डेडली कॉम्बिनेशन विच अलोंग विद क्रोनिक पेंक्राइटाइटिस विल डेफिनेटली लीड टू पेंक्राइटिक कैंसर नो क्रोनिक पेंक्राइटाइटिस इंडिया में मोस्ट कॉमन इटियोलॉजी या मोस्ट कॉमन रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर क्रोनिक पेंक्राइटाइटिस या पेंक्रियास का जो लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग इन्फेक्शन है वो है अल्कोहल so alcohol directly contributes to chronic pancreatitis which then leads to pancreatic cancer obesity ya motapa now this is another modifiable risk factor ye risk factor hum modify kar sakte hain so being overweight can cause 13 types of cancer including pancreatic cancer so how being overweight causes cancer motapa kis tarah se cancer cause kar sakta so fat cells make extra hormones and growth factors these hormones and growth factors then tell cell in our body to divide more often this enhances the chances of cancer cells being produced because lot of cells are getting divided at a very rapid speed this can lead to a formation of a cancer which can then continue to divide and cause a tumor so this is how obesity or motapa is directly linked with cancer Now, how do we measure obesity? Usually, हम लोग obesity measure करते हैं in terms of body mass index. Now, body mass index एक scientific term है but it is relatively very easy. Body mass index में what we do is we calculate a ratio of your weight 
अपॉन योर हाइट अगर ये रेशो 18.5 है तो आप अंडरवेट है बिटवीन 18.5 टू 24.9 है तो आप नॉर्मल है बिटवीन 25 टू 30 यू आर ओवरवेट एंड अबव 30 यू आर ओबीज सो एनी वन हु इज ओवर वेट एंड ओबीज कैन मेक सम एफर्ट टू ब्रिंग देयर वेट टू नॉर्मल बाय एक्सरसाइज एंड फॉलोइंग ए हेल्दी डाइट दिस इटसेल्फ कैन रिड्यूस द रिस्क ऑफ पैंक्रियाटिक कैंसर नाउ हाउ ओबेसिटी इंक्रीजेस द रिस्क ऑफ पैंक्रियाटिक कैंसर थ्रू actions of various hormones like leptin and adiponectin which then directly act on the adiposity around pancreas and this can lead to pancreatic cancer now we have to understand what is the connection between diabetes and pancreas now diabetes can be a risk factor for your pancreatic cancer and diabetes can also be a manifestation of your pancreatic cancer Now, when we talk of diabetes, so we usually know that there are around two types of diabetes: type one diabetes and type two diabetes. Type one, which early age me hota hai; type two, which later ages me hota hai, in around forties, is me insulin deficiency hoti hai. Insulin does not act properly on your cells to control the glucose levels. And then there is type three diabetes also, which happens because pancreas, uh, because of chronic pancreatitis, pancreas cannot produce enough insulin. so type 2 diabetes and type 3 diabetes are directly linked to pancreatic cancer now when i talk of type 2 diabetes it is a long standing type 2 diabetes matlab type 2 diabetes jo aapko more than 5 years hai aur aapko insulin ki hamesha zarurat padti hai so then it is definitely a risk for pancreatic cancer also it can be a manifestation ki agar aapko 50s tak kabhi diabetes nahi tha and you are in your 50s and abhi recent onset aapko diabetes hua hai which is diagnosed as type 2 diabetes then it can also be a manifestation of the pancreatic cancer so individuals who are in their 40s who have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes who are long standing who have diabetes for more than 5 years uncontrolled with some complications who require insulin more often are at higher chances of getting a pancreatic cancer so this is what i explained long standing diabetes mellitus type 2 diabetes mellitus is a risk factor for pancreatic cancer and new onset diabetes mellitus in a relatively healthy individual who was healthy till his 50s and now he has a new onset diabetes mellitus which has been diagnosed as type 2 diabetes it can be even a manifestation of pancreatic cancer so any individual who is diagnosed as type 2 diabetes in his 50s his uh, general practitioner should uh, make an effort to evaluate if he has a pancreatic cancer these patients more often than not get diagnosed with pancreatic cancer after one or two years which is uh, relatively late for pancreatic cancer so yes type 2 diabetes it may indicate a risk of pancreatic cancer as i already explained it is both a risk factor or a consequence of pancreatic cancer so about 1 in 100 people with new onset diabetes are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer within 3 years of their diabetes diagnosis means agar aap uh, 50s mein hain aapke relatively normal the up till your 50s and now you have been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer so you have 1 in 100 percent chance that over next 3 years you will be diagnosed with a pancreatic cancer and 1 in 4 people diagnosed with pancreatic cancer were first diagnosed with diabetes so Uh, एक में से चार पेशेंट्स को हमेशा डायबिटीज रहा है इधर लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग डायबिटीज विच इज अनकंट्रोल्ड और डायबिटीज विच वाज न्यू ऑनसेट डायबिटीज पहले जैसे मैंने बताया था फैमिली हिस्ट्री ऑफ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर नाउ देर आर सर्टेन सिंड्रोम सर्टेन फैमिलियल रिस्क फैक्टर्स जिससे आपका पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर होने का रिस्क बढ़ता है नाउ दीज फैमिलियल सिंड्रोम आर फैमिलियल ब्रेस्ट कैंसर family a typical multiple mole melanoma syndrome pudes eggers syndrome there are multiple syndromes like this agar aapka family risk zyada hai aapke parents ko ya unki immediate family mein kisi ko koi cancer hua hai so you can visit a uh, cancer physician cancer surgeon jo genetic counseling mein aapko bhej ke aapka family ka risk evaluate karte hain whether you fit into some kind of syndrome agar aap kisi syndrome mein fit nahi hote to in general ke aapke family mein cancer hone ka risk zyada hai depending on that they will counsel and test everyone so we know now that there are certain families in which pancreatic cancer is a uh, occurs at a very high frequency these are called as familial pancreatic cancer and there are certain syndromes which are enlisted in this um, table which 
important a high risk for familial pancreatic cancer or pancreatic cancer also in these uh, families pancreatic cancer happens at a very early age relatively say around 30s or 40s they will be diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer and we know that the common age for pancreatic cancer is usually in the 50s or 60s so anyone who is diagnosed uh, with a pancreatic cancer at an early age they should be screened along with their family members whether they carry an increased risk so that if they are carrying then their family members can be counseled and then they can be detected a little early now after knowing all these things about the risk factors of pancreatic cancer humko janna zaruri hai ki what are the symptoms of pancreatic cancer kyunki pancreatic cancer symptoms se when we correlate the risk factors with symptoms we would be able to diagnose it at a much earlier stage ya jaldi hum log usko diagnose kar sakte so most common uh, uh, symptoms of pancreatic cancer are upper abdominal pain which radiates to the back jaundice indigestion of the food persistent sensation of nausea or some vomiting weight loss which is uh, unexplained weight loss or loss of appetite matlab bhook nahi lagna these are all symptoms of pancreatic cancer abhi hum log dekhenge to all these symptoms are so common with other other diseases also so most common misdiagnosis which happens with pancreatic cancer are gallstone matlab pit ki theli mein patri hona ya koi colon mein large bowel infection hona ya generalized indigestion hai patient ko ya gastritis hai so or ya koi liver disease hai because of their alcohol intake and everything so these are the common misdiagnosis most of the time because of this symptoms the patients get misdiagnosed with all these things and they are not directed properly to a cancer physician or a surgeon for their proper diagnosis so we need to be very aware of our symptoms what symptoms we are having in presence of any risk factors so which are the three warning signs of pancreatic cancer first is jaundice jaundice which is yellowish discoloration of our skin and our eyes pain unexplained back or abdominal pain with unexplained weight loss meaning aap weight loss karne ki koshish nahi kar rahe fir bhi aapka weight loss ho raha hai which is around uh, say 6 to 7 kg in last 3 4 months this is a significant weight loss so significant weight loss with back pain or abdominal pain and third warning sign is late onset diabetes jo humne pehle explain kiya hai late onset diabetes which is diagnosed in your 50s and you are relatively healthy or aapko diabetes in your 50s mein diagnose hua hai so these are the warning signs of pancreatic cancer aur iska evaluation hona chahiye to jaundice jo pancreatic cancer mein hota hai usko hum log in medical languages bolte hain obstructive jaundice abhi obstructive jaundice matlab kya hai jaundice are of two types usually ek hota hai medical jaundice jo aapko liver mein infection ki wajah se hota hai hepatitis a b c d e ye jo hepatitis liver mein infection hota hai uske wajah se ek jaundice hota hai jisko hum log bolte hain medical jaundice aur surgical jaundice ya obstructive jaundice hum log bolte hain jab aapke liver ka pit ya bile jo flow hona chahiye small bowel mein duodenum mein small bowel ke part mein us bile flow ko kisi wajah se obstruction ho jata hai so we call it obstructive jaundice or surgical jaundice now pancreatic cancer causes jaundice which is obstructive jaundice or a, or a surgical jaundice kyunki jahan pancreatic tumor hai pancreatic tumor causes obstruction in the flow of bile into the small bowel to so, isme kya hota hai apart from jaundice that that is yellowish discoloration of your eyes and uh, yellowish discoloration of your skin everywhere else you will have some pale colored stools or white colored stools and itching all over the body so jaundice along with itching all over the body and pale or greasy stools uh, lead uh, toward di- towards a diagnosis of a surgical or an obstructive jaundice so when an obstructive jaundice is diagnosed by your physician or your general practitioner based on this symptoms we need to evaluate what is the cause of this obstruction and more often than not we find pancreatic cancer as one of the causes for this surgical or obstructive jaundice another important symptom is abdominal pain now abdominal pain is very common symptom abdominal pain gastritis mein ho sakta hai aapko pit ki theli mein pathri ho uske wajah se ho sakta hai ya gastritis pet ka infection hai uske wajah se hota hai but what we need to know about abdominal pain abdominal pain which is new onset which is persistent विच इज वर्सनिंग न्यू ऑनसेट मतलब ये नया पेन है परसिस्टेंट मतलब इसको आप 
कितनी दवाई ले ले फिर भी आपका ये पेन परसिस्टेंट रहता है ये पेन यूजुअली बैक की तरफ भी जाता है फ्रॉम अपर एबडोमेन टू बैक मतलब आपकी नाभि के ऊपर अम्बिलिकस के ऊपर से लेके पीछे की तरफ जाता है रेडिएट होता है विच इज़ परसिस्टेंट आप एनालिसिक लेते हैं कुछ पेन किलर्स लेते हैं उससे थोड़ी देर राहत मिलती है बट इट जस्ट कंटिन्यूज विच इज़ परसिस्टेंट एंड वर्सनिंग मतलब डे बाय डे और इन वीक्स आपका पेन का जो सिचुएशन है वो और ख़राब होते जाता है डिस्पाइट टेकिंग पेन किलर्स एंड एनी अदर ट्रीटमेंट ये पेन फिर भी कंटिन्यू है और ये ग्रेड में भी बढ़ते जा रहा है तो दिस इज वन सिम्टम विच इज़ वेरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फॉर पैंक्रियाज एंड पैंक्रियाटाइटिस एंड ऑल्सो पैंक्रियाटिक कैंसर नो पैंक्रियाटिक कैंसर में जिस टाइप का पेन होता है इट इज़ ऑल्सो अ पेन विच हैपन्स एट अ अर्ली स्टेज पेन जहाँ थोड़ा पेन किलर लेके आप को रिलीफ मिल सकता है लेकिन जैसे जैसे पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर बढ़ने लगता है साइज में बढ़ने लगता है सो इट स्टार्ट इन्फिल्ट्रेटिंग सराउंडिंग नर्व्स जैसे मैंने पहले बताया था, था कि पैंक्रेज इज सिचुएटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर स्पाइन जहाँ पे काफी नर्व्स होते हैं ब्लड वेसल्स होती है तो जैसे जैसे पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर स्टार्ट इन्फिल्ट्रेटिंग दिस नर्व ये पेन और सीवियर होने लगता है पेन विच इज अनिमिटिंग कंटिन्यूस और जिससे कोई रिलीफ नहीं मिलता कंटिन्यूसली रेडिएटिंग टू बैक नॉट गेटिंग रिलीफ लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग ओवर टू एंड थ्री मंथ्स दिस पॉइंट्स अस टूवर्ड्स अ डायग्नोसिस ऑफ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर एंड फेयरली एडवांस पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर सो एनी अपर एबडोमिनल पेन विच इज न्यू ऑनसेट विच इज परसिस्टेंट विच इज नाउ इंक्रीजिंग इन सीवियरिटी शुड बी मेड अवेयर टू द पेशेंट्स बाय देयर जनरल प्रैक्टिशनर्स एंड दे शुड इन्वेस्टिगेट इट वेदर द पर्सन इज हैविंग एनी डिजीज रिलेटेड टू पैंक्रियाज एंड मोस्ट कॉमनली इन एल्डरली इंडिविजुअल्स विद द रिस्क फैक्टर्स लाइक स्मोकिंग अल्कोहल न्यू ऑनसेट डायबिटीज दिस इज अ वेरी ब्रीडिंग ग्राउंड फॉर अ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर वेट लॉस वेट लॉस आप देखेंगे वॉट इज द वेट लॉस इज एक्चुअली लाइक हाउ ही लुक एंड हाउ इन द एंड ही बिकेम सो वेट लॉस विच इज अन इंटेंशनल वेट लॉस ये वेट लॉस कोई कोशिश नहीं कर रहा है कि वेट लॉस होना चाहिए थ्रू डाइटिंग बट इट इज जस्ट हैपनिंग बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ दूर एनर्जी फ्रॉम द बॉडी इज गेटिंग डाइवर्टेड टू द ट्यूमर सेल्स एंड दैट इज वाई यू लूज वेट डिस्पाइट हैविंग गुड इन टेक ऑफ फूड मोस्टली पेशेंट्स विद पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर विल ऑल्सो हैव अ लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट तो लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट मीनिंग भूख नहीं लगना या खाना देख के इच्छा नहीं होना खाना खाने की अलॉन्ग विद दिस वेट लॉस विच इज सिग्निफिकेंट वेट लॉस ये अराउंड फाइव टू सिक्स के जीज फॉर लास्ट थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट साइंस फॉर एनी इंटरनल मेलिग्नेसी एंड पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर का तो ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट सिम्टम है कि पेशेंट्स को वेट लॉस होता है ना वेट लॉस कैन ऑल्सो भी बिकॉज ऑफ जॉन्डिस बट किसी पेशेंट्स को जॉन्डिस के पहले से भी वेट लॉस हो सकता है सो जॉन्डिस ऑब्सट्रक्टिव जॉन्डिस जो मैंने आपको बताया जॉन्डिस अलॉन्ग विद येलोज डिस्कलरेशन ऑफ योर स्किन ईचिंग ऑल ओवर द बॉडी पेल कलर्ड स्टूल्स अपर एबडोमिनल पेन वेट लॉस इंडिजेशन या कंटिन्यूस सेंसेशन ऑफ वॉमिटिंग जिसे हम लोग नोजिया बोलते हैं दीज आर ऑल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिम्टम्स ऑफ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर और अगर ऐसे सिम्टम्स आपको है विच आर प्रोग्रेसिंग विच आर नॉट गेटिंग रिलीव विथ योर मेडिसिन यू शूड डेफिनेटली विजिट योर Uh, nearest family physician or any uh, cancer care physician to uh, diagnose for making a uh, appropriate diagnosis whether you are harboring a small pancreatic cancer once we know the symptoms and the risk factor what is important to know is ki hum log isko diagnose kaise kar sakte hain pancreatic cancer ko so what are the modalities to diagnose now you are having all the symptoms suppose someone has a symptom of obstructive jaundice so how do we now proceed kaise proceed karte hain investigate karne ke liye सो सिटी स्कैन नाउ सिटी स्कैन इज फेयरली कॉमन मेजर मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटीज में अर्बन एरियाज में सिटी स्कैन इज नाउ अवेलेबल सो इफ यू आर सस्पेक्टिंग अ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर यूजअली आपको एक सिटी स्कैन का एडवाइस दिया जाएगा विच इज स्पेसिफिक फॉर पैंक्रियाज विच वी कॉल एज पैंक्रियाज प्रोटोकॉल सिटी स्कैन इट इज मोर प्रिसाइज कैन इंडिकेट द स्प्रेड ऑफ कैंसर इट विल ऑल्सो क्लैरिफाई द नेचर ऑफ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर सो पैंक्रेटिक प्रोटोकॉल सिटी स्कैन में आपको एक दवा दी जाती है आप आई वी लेके इंट्रावेनस जिसको हम लोग कॉन्ट्रास्ट बोलते हैं एंड आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स टेन मिनट्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इंटरवल पे सिटी स्कैन लिए जाते हैं सो दिस सिटी स्कैन विच इज़ अ पैंक्रेट प्रोटोकॉल स्पेसिफिक सिटी स्कैन हेल्प्स अस इन डायग्नोसिंग द पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर इट विल ऑल्सो टेल अस अबाउट द स्टेज ऑफ द डिजीज वेर एग्जैक्टली द ट्यूमर इज लोकेटेड इन द पैंक्रियाज वेदर इट हैज स्प्रेड टू द सराउंडिंग ऑर्गन और नोड्स Another important thing is endoscopy. 
now sometimes what happens ki uh, ct scan cannot pick up the pancreatic cancer very effectively only it will show show a small shadow or or it will not light up on a ct scan in that case hum log jo test karte endoscopy or endoscopic ultrasound endoscopic ultrasound mein kya hua ki ek uh, endoscope jisme camera laga hota hai along with uh, 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 probe for uh, sonography is passed into your stomach through oral cavity एंड uh, वहाँ पे एक स्पेशलाइज सोनोग्राफी करके देखते हैं पेट के थ्रू कि पैंक्रियाज में कोई ट्यूमर है क्या नाउ मोस्टली पैंक्रियाटिक ट्यूमर्स व्हेन दे आर डायग्नोस्ड बायोप्सी इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड अगर हम लोग अपफ्रेंट सर्जिकल प्लान करते हैं तो बायोप्सी इज डेफिनेटली नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर बट इन केसेज जहाँ हम लोग बायोप्सी प्लान नहीं करते इन केस जॉन्डिस किसी पेशेंट का बहुत ज़्यादा है या किसी पेशेंट को कीमोथेरेपी की जरूरत है इन दैट केसेज ओनली biopsy is required otherwise pancreatic cancer is one cancer where before surgery we do not require a biopsy or a pathological proof that the patient is having pancreatic cancer now certain blood tests like routine blood tests jaise aapka hemoglobin liver function test renal function test ye sare tests kafi important hote hain along with certain blood test jisko hum log bolte hain tumor markers now these tumor markers are uh, important in pancreatic cancer one of the most important tumor marker is ca99 and cea out of which ca99 is quite specific for pancreatic cancer now when ca99 levels are elevated we know that this can be because of pancreatic cancer but important thing is that tumor markers ca99 jaise tumor markers are done when patient does not have jaundice because in presence of jaundice also ca99 levels will be increased so we need to know that if you are having jaundice if your bilirubin is on a higher side then it is better not to do ca99 at that stage and it is done usually when the jaundice is reduced it also helps ca99 or tumor markers also help Uh, as in follow up of the patient once the treatment is over because if ca99 or other tumor markers are rising in their blood after the treatment is over it tells us that the patient may have a small recurrence somewhere of pancreatic cancer or other biliary cancers now after the diagnosis what is the important thing that we need to know is what is the stage of the cancer now in general all cancers all over the world are Uh, are staged in stage one, two, three, and four. Where stage one is a early stage tumor, where it is a very small tumor for pancreatic cancer, it is less than two centimeter, or localized where it is between two to four centimeter, or stage three regional spread, जहाँ pancreas में छोड़ के ये tumor आगे बाजू में कुछ lymph nodes होते हैं जो drainage होता है pancreas का lymphatic drainage उस nodes में जाते हैं तो so we call it as stage three, and stage four is distant spread, which is peritoneal या उस लोको रीजनल छोड़ के लीवर में लंग्स में पेरिटोनियम में जब ट्यूमर जाता है तो देन वी कॉल इट एज स्टेज फोर ऑफ दी कैंसर नो पैंक्रियाज में जैसे मैंने बताया स्टेज वन इज अ स्मॉल ट्यूमर वेन इट इज लेस देन टू सेंटीमीटर स्टेज टू ए एंड टू बी आर वेर इट इज अराउंड टू टू फोर सेंटीमीटर स्टेज टू में लिम्फ नोड्स में थोड़ी बहुत बीमारी हो सकती है स्टेज थ्री में अपार्ट फ्रॉम लिम्फ नोड्स पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर कुछ आजू बाजू में जो मेजर ब्लड वेसल्स है वहाँ पे भी जा सकता है या सराउंडिंग ऑर्गन्स है जैसे लार्ज बॉबेल है स्मॉल बॉबेल है स्टमक है वहाँ पे भी स्प्रेड होने लगता है सो इट इज स्टेज थ्री और लोकली एडवांस डिजीज एंड स्टेज फोर वो है जहाँ पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर हैज हैज गॉन थ्रू दिस स्टेजेस इन टू लिवर और लंग्स और पेरिटोनियम जो एक एबडोमिन में एक परत होती है जिसको हम लोग पेरिटोनियम बोलते हैं कवरिंग है एबडोमिनल कवरिंग तो वहाँ अगर स्प्रेड होता है तो वी कॉल इट एज स्टेज फोर डिजीज और मेटास्टेटिक डिजीज और और यूजुअली द स्टेज फोर विच वी इन कॉमन लैंग्वेज कॉल एज द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ द कैंसर नाउ व्हाई इज पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर सो डेडली जैसे मैंने पहले बताया था कि स्टेज वाइज सर्वाइवल देखे तो स्टेज वन में भी ऑल्सो इट इज लेस देन टू ईयर स्टेज फोर में तो इट इज लेस देन फाइव फाइव मंथस so why because pancreatic cancers on diagnosis more than 50% of them are in stage 4 we do not we are not able to make a diagnosis at a early stage because of the common symptoms which i explained earlier only less than 10% are diagnosed as stage 1 around 25% are diagnosed in stage 2 and locally advanced around 10% but if we see most of them are diagnosed when they have already been stage 4 when jahan cancer ऑलरेडी लोकल जगह छोड़ के लोकल रीजनल स्प्रेड छोड़ के लीवर या लंग्स में फैल चुका है सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर आर डायग्नोज एट स्टेज फोर 
so but for management point of view now this is a general staging for management point of view we usually divide in medical language or in cancer terminology we divide pancreatic cancer into three things one which is upfront resectable resectable matlab jo surgery se theek ho sakta hai upfront surgery karke theek ho sakta hai dusra hai borderline resectable jahan surgery karke iska ilaj kiya ja sakta hai but वो बॉर्डर लाइन है जहाँ ट्यूमर जो है ब्लड वेसल्स के काफ़ी करीब पहुँच चुका है या एडजस्टेंट कोई ऑर्गन से वहाँ पे भी गया है एंड थोड़ा डाउटफुल है इन दीज केसेस वी टेन टू गिव कीमोथेरेपी प्लस माइनस रेडिएशन सो दैट ट्यूमर कुछ श्रिंक हो एंड देन वी टेक देम अप फॉर सर्जरी सो सर्जरी रिमेन्स एन एसेंशियल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर दैट्स वाई वी डिवाइड दम इन टू रिसेक्टेबल बॉर्डर लाइन रिसेक्टेबल एंड देन अनरिसेक्टेबल अनरिसेक्टेबल मतलब जहाँ इवन दो बहुत ज़्यादा स्प्रेड नहीं हुआ है बॉडी में इट इज़ नॉट स्टेज फोर बट वी ऑल्सो कैनॉट रिसेक्ट दैम सर्जिकली सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज अनरिसेक्टेबल ट्यूमर्स सो दिस इज हाउ वी फॉलो अ फ्लो चार्ट वेर रिसेक्टेबल अगर आप फ्रंट रिसेक्टेबल है तो यूजली पेशेंट आफ्टर गोज अ सर्जरी फॉलोड बाय सम कीमोथेरेपी इफ द पेशेंट्स आर डायग्नोज एज बॉर्डर लाइन रिसेक्टेबल जहाँ ब्लड वेसल्स को जस्ट करीब आ चुका है जस्ट टच हो रहा है we have a doubt that it is going into some major blood vessels in that case we give chemotherapy first or radiation first try to reduce the bulk of the tumor and then take them up for surgery and in advanced cases usually that line of management is mostly chemotherapy if the patients respond in a very good way which happens in around 20% of the patients then they can be taken up for surgery but remaining 80% most likely they will receive either only chemotherapy or chemotherapy followed by a radiation now treatment for pancreatic cancer is quite um, uh, straight forward either it is surgery chemotherapy or radiation therapy now surgery is the backbone of treatment for pancreatic cancer but as we know that only 10% of them are diagnosed at stage 1 and only 25 to 30% are diagnosed as stage 2 so we uh, usually only 30% of patients receive an upfront surgery so depending on the uh, location of the tumor in pancreas we know ki what surgery karni hai jaise maine bataya tha ki pancreas ke anatomical parts are head neck body and tail most commonly in around 85% of the cases the pancreatic tumor is situated in the head so for this head pancreas tumor the most Uh, the surgery which we perform is whipple's procedure now it is one of the most complex surgical oncology uh, procedures where a part of pancreas along with some part of stomach duodenum is removed and as pancreas is very close to all these organs so for adequate margins we remove all these things and then they are reconstructed uh, this is usually a, a, a very major surgery should be done at uh, centers of excellence with from experienced surgeons only when pancreatic tumor is situated in the body or tail the surgery which we do is distal pancreatectomy mostly uh, along with this surgery spleen bhi nikali jate because spleen is closely attached to pancreas in the tail region so we remove uh, spleen also as a part of cancer surgery for tumors which are situated in the body and tail of pancreas नो कीमोथेरेपी नो वॉट इज कीमोथेरेपी कीमोथेरेपी मतलब दीज आर सम टॉक्सिक ड्रग्स विच आर गिवेन थ्रू आई वी लाइन विच आर ट्रेवल थ्रू योर ब्लड स्ट्रीम थ्रू आउट द एंटायर बॉडी ना आफ्टर सर्जरी द इंटेंट ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी मतलब सर्जरी से ट्यूमर निकालने के बाद भी कीमोथेरेपी इसलिए दी जाती है सो दैट इफ देर आर एनी माइक्रोस्कोपिक ट्यूमर्स एनी वेयर इन द बॉडी दे विल बी किल्ड विद दिस कीमोथेरेपी और कीमोथेरेपी समटाइम्स गिवन in a setting where we want to reduce the bulk of the tumor like borderline resectable pancreatic cancer jo maine pehle bataya tha jisme humko pata hai ki resectable hum upfront surgery nahi kar sakte us patients mein hum log chemotherapy dete hain taki kuch shayad tumor shrink ho jaye and surgery thoda un patients ke liye surgery would be then feasible so we give chemotherapy in those patients or uh, in stage 4 disease or stage 3 disease stage 4 mein matlab jahan patients ko already tumor is in liver and lung in those cases we give chemotherapy only as a treatment option and surgery is usually not an option for those patients now radiation what is radiation therapy is giving some high dose light or high dose radiation specifically to the area of that tumor now role of radiation in pancreatic cancer is uh, limited 
नाउ वेन आई से रेडिएशन थेरेपी इन पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर मोस्ट कॉमन इंडिकेशन होता है कि पेशेंट हैज अ मेटास्टेटिक डिजीज लेकिन इंट्रैक्टेबल पेन है पेन विच इज नॉट गेटिंग रिलीव बिकॉज इन्फिल्ट्रेशन इन द नर्व और समथिंग देन लोकलाइज रेडिएशन कैन बी गिवन और इन बॉर्डर लाइन रिसेप्टेबल डिजीजेज जहाँ ब्लड वेसल्स के काफी पास में है ट्यूमर तो वहाँ हाई डोज रेडिएशन देखे ट्यूमर को श्रिंक किया जाता है एंड देन दिस पेशेंट्स आर टेकन अप फॉर सर्जरी सो रेडिएशन येस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट आर्माटोरियम फॉर दी पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर बट द रोल इज रिलेटिवली लिमिटेड इन पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर सो हैविंग नोन ऑल दिस थिंग्स अबाउट पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर कैन वी प्रिवेंट पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर there is no sure way to prevent pancreatic cancer but as i explained earlier there are certain risk factors which are modifiable jo hum log modify kar sakte those risk factors can be modified but certain risk factors which are non modified they are and we cannot control them like our increasing age or gender male sex or a family history this cannot be controlled but definitely there are certain risk factors which can be controlled or modified which we can modify and we can take control of our pancreas so now let's look at certain steps steps on how to prevent pancreatic cancer so first important thing if you are a smoker quit smoking smoking directly contributes to around 30 to 40% cases of the pancreatic cancer agar aap smoker hai and if you stop smoking now today so your risk of getting pancreatic cancer would be equal to a normal individual after 5 years सो so, पाँच साल तक अगर आप स्मोक नहीं कर रहे हैं अगर आप अभी स्मोक कर रहे हैं तो योर रिस्क वुड बी एज दैट ऑफ अ जनरल पॉपुलेशन सो क्विटिंग स्मोकिंग इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स टू प्रिवेंट पैंक्रेटिक कैंसर सेकेंड इज वॉट डाइट वी शुड फॉलो नाउ वी शुड हैव कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इन अवर मील वेन आई से कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट मतलब Uh, we should avoid taking fried meals or um, uh, food substances like uh, french fries or deep fry things on a constant and regular basis instead what we should have is lot of vegetables vegetables which contain uh, green leafy vegetables which have high in, uh, uh, vitamins and minerals we should have these kind of carbohydrates rather than having fried foods or um, or sweet uh, sugar uh, fluids like uh, any uh, uh, there are many fruit juices or um, uh, available commercially available fruit juices we should try and avoid such kind of thing and instead we should have uh, normal fruit or normal vegetable intake with uh, complex carbohydrates now what we can do is set up a healthy diet avoid foods that make up excess proteins in our body eat more foods containing indole 3 carbinol now what is indole 3 carbinol is that eat more foods containing cabbage cauliflower these are the uh, vegetables which contain high um, indole 3 carbinol so we can have these food substances or what we can have is have lot of turmeric turmeric is haldi now haldi has a specific action on pancreatic cancer now there are multiple researches which are coming which tell us that haldi can be a, a, a potential um research target for pancreatic cancer so we should have healthy in our diet avoid moldy foods sweets and animal fats meaning uh, you should avoid red meat excessive consumption of red meat or stored red meat we should also avoid foods high in nitrates we should have food which have high in um, uh, content in vitamin d vitamin b6 b9 and b12 we should have at least 6 glasses of water a day we should limit our intake of sugary drinks like commercially available uh, juices or commercially available soft drinks we should also limit our intake of sugary snacks and refined carbohydrates now refined carbohydrates are fried food sugary snacks are pastries and all other things so we should uh, limit our intake we should not have them in an excessive uh, quantity we should have healthy snacks healthy fats and we should never think that eating habits are dieting and the other important thing is that we should also cut off late supper means we should start having our dinner at a earlier time not at um, we should have dinner at least 2 hours prior to we go to sleep so that our body gets enough time to digest that food now there is a strong link between physical activity and decreased risk of this cancer which are breast cancer colorectal cancer endometrial cancer gall bladder kidney pancreatic cancer and esophageal cancer so physical activity doing routine exercise is very important now 
we should prioritize exercise as a way of losing weight rather than dieting now how much exercise either 30 minutes a day or as much as even 1.5 hours a week is enough to reduce the risk of cancer specifically pancreatic cancer by 50 percent so to summarize what i would say is that we should know the symptoms and risk of pancreatic cancer we should be aware that pancreatic cancer has the lowest survival rate among all cancers and only early detection can save lives what we know about pancreatic cancer today might help us or a loved one with disease tomorrow november is pancreatic cancer awareness month and this facebook live session on pancreatic cancer was an effort to uh, spread awareness regarding pancreatic cancer we would celebrate pancreatic cancer on november 15 this month thank you for any queries i am available on my mobile and at hn reliance hospital also a short announcement which i would be making is that dr supriya bambarkar who is consultant surgical oncologist at hcg hospitals mumbai would be taking a session on lung cancer lung cancer awareness month also happens to be november she uh, practices and specializes in thoracic surgery and thoracic surgical oncology so on 18th november she would take a facebook live session on lung cancer thank you i am available to take uh, any questions now for next 20 30 minutes Oh, yes, there are certain uh, questions coming to answer. So whether pancreatic cancer is common in males or females. So what we know is that pancreatic cancer is more common in males than females. But it uh, doesn't mean that females may or may not have pancreatic cancer. But definitely it is more common in males and it is more in india it is more common in urban males matlab jo male cities mein rehte and who are in their 50s or early 60s they have a higher chances of getting pancreatic cancer the other question which is what food kills pancreatic cancer now uh, there are hardly any food once you have been diagnosed with a pancreatic cancer uh, food substances will not help what will help is proper oncological management in the form of surgery, chemotherapy or plus minus radiation. But as I have told there are certain food substances which when taken adequately in our diet can help in reducing the risk of pancreatic cancer. Having less refined carbohydrates, having a large amount of green leafy vegetables, enough intake of uh, water, less intake of sugar contained drinks and avoiding smoking or having green leafy vegetables these will all help in reducing the risk of pancreatic cancer now another thing what is the best test for pancreatic cancer so once uh, uh, we have a doubt of someone having pancreatic cancer the most important test is a ct scan CT scan which is contrast enhanced CT scan which is pancreatic cancer protocol specific CT scan. CT scan will help us knowing exactly where the tumor is in which part of the pancreas it is what is the stage of the uh, tumor whether it has gone into the surrounding nodes into the blood vessels or it has gone to the liver and lungs. So the best test to diagnose pancreatic cancer would be a CT chest plus contrast in a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis which is mostly a pancreas protocol CT scan. Yes. So other question interesting is is pancreatic cancer becoming more common and what is the reason behind it? Yes, pancreatic cancer is becoming more common now. Now, there are two to three reasons. One is that increased awareness regarding this cancer. Second is that we are moving more towards a westernized form of uh, food habits. Most um, uh, of the societies are going towards uh, westernization, which means that most of us consume 
a diet which is high in refined carbohydrates most uh, people are addicted to smoking and alcohol so all these risk factors are combination of these risk factors is increasing the incidence of pancreatic cancer in india and i would say worldwide it has more or less stabilized in western societies but in india it is on the rise and mostly it is seen in the urban population in the urban male population kyunki urban male population mein sab risk factors are present like most of them are most urban male population now smokes drinks most of them uh, are into are uh, habituated for high um, refined carbohydrate diet and um, drinks soft drinks which contain lot of sugars and unhealthy patterns a lack of exercise most of them have a sitting jobs most of them are obese so obesity itself contributes to diabetes mellitus and all this then becomes a vicious cycle which leads to development of pancreatic cancer